Hi, I'm Charlie Nardozzi for the Gardener Supply Company. Today I want to talk about controlling diseases in your garden. Vegetable diseases are something that can creep up on you. We all have this false sense of hope that those spots on the tomatoes and the peonies will just go away on their own. Or diseases sometimes will take plants overnight. I've seen cucumbers and impatience just wilt and be dead in the morning. Prevention is the key for disease control. Rotating crops, growing disease resistant varieties, and keeping plants healthy with the right sun, water, and fertilizer is the best way to prevent them in your garden. But even if you do all of that, you're still going to get some diseases. So let's look at some common diseases in your garden. Leaf diseases are probably the most obvious and prevalent type of disease you're going to find on your plants. They can be caused by fungi and by bacteria. Now tomatoes are probably famous for all their leaf diseases. There's bacterial speck, septoria leaf spot, early blight and late blight that can attack this plant. It's important you know what kind of disease you have. Gardener Supply Company has some great online resources that can help. Weather can also influence the amount of disease you have on your plant. During periods of cool, wet weather, you're going to find a lot more leaf diseases than periods of hot, dry weather. To control these diseases, a simple thing to do is just to pick off the diseased leaves and destroy them. You can also put mulch around the base of your plant so the diseased spores don't splash up onto the leaves and get started, or spray organic fungicides. That being said, there are certain diseases like late blight and viruses that can spread aggressively. So if you find you have those diseases, you want to pull out the plants and destroy them. Another common type of leaf disease is mildew. Powdery mildew often shows up in late summer as the days get a little bit cooler and you see it when you see this white film on the leaves of the plant. It can kill the leaves as well as the flowers and the fruits. It attacks a whole host of plants like this squash, melons, bee balm, lilacs and phlox. You can control it with some organic sprays. Downy mildew is another type of mildew that's even more devastating and it's very specific to the type of plant. For example, there's impatience downy mildew and basil downy mildew which will wipe out a plant overnight. White mold is a fungal disease you'll often find on bean plants, sunflowers, potatoes, basil and rosemary. It thrives during cool wet weather and you'll see it with this white growth on the plants or on the fruits. You can control it simply by pruning it off. The solution for controlling those diseases on these leaves and above ground plant parts is a lot of those cultural controls I mentioned earlier. Plus there's one other thing you can do. You can increase the airflow around your plants and the best way to do that is with plant supports. That way your plants are not bumping into each other, spreading disease and you're increasing the flow of air so that the leaves dry out and doesn't create the conditions for fungus to get going. You can also use preventive sprays such as Serenade, Revitalize and baking soda. In fact, you can make your own baking soda solution really easily. Take a tablespoon of baking soda, drop it in to your container filled with water. Then you want to take a teaspoon of horticultural oil, put that in as well, and then just a little dash of liquid soap. You want to have about one gallon of water in here, mix it all up, and spray it, of course, wearing gloves. Sometimes diseases strike in a shocking fashion. Plants will just wilt and die overnight. This is usually due to root rot diseases such as wilt. There is verticillium wilt, fusarium wilt, and bacteria wilt to just name a few of them. They attack plants mostly during cool wet conditions. Now these wilts will attack a whole host of plants like tomatoes, cucumbers, asters, chrysanthemums, and crab apples. You can't really cure these plants of this wilt, but you can prevent it. You can grow disease resistant varieties, have your plants growing on healthy soil that's well drained, and make sure you water well during a drought. Some of the problems look like diseases, but they're not. Take blossom end rot, for example. This is when the tomato or cucumber or squash rots at the blossom end. It's caused by a calcium deficiency due to fluctuating moisture conditions in your soil. This is what happens in the summer a lot of times when it rains a lot and then it gets dry and then rains again. That fluctuation of the soil moisture conditions causes the calcium deficiency which causes the rot. The solution is simple. Mulch your plants well and water evenly so that the moisture is there for your tomatoes to grow perfectly. So by growing strong healthy plants and watching out for diseases, you can prevent a small problem from becoming a big one in your garden.